So everybody ready to go home and make, make whiskey? <laughs> All right, yeah. Three cans of corn, some cream of wheat, <laughs> some uh, malto meal, which is barley. You, you got the recipe right there. All right. So what we're going to have here is what we call the Florida meal. It's our twist on the Moscow meal. A Moscow meal is uh, vodka, ginger beer, and lime juice. What we're going to make is a Florida meal featuring our St. Augustine Distillery's sugarcane vodka. Our vodka is distilled from cane neutral spirits. That is a direct result of the uh, process of table sugar from sugarcane. And uh, one of the off products is a cane neutral spirit. We refine it into this award winning spirit that is vodka. For our recipe, we're going to add two ounces of vodka into our copper mule mug. Just like our stills, the uh, mug for drinking a mule type beverage uh, should be made out of copper. Copper is a great translator of heat and cold. Anytime you're making a cocktail, your recipe is going to start off with a spirit and then you're going to add things to modify that spirit, basically to make it taste good, right? So what we want to do here, if you're having a mule, one of the big ingredients is going to be ginger. So a Moscow mule uses ginger beer. So that's going to give you ginger and some fizz and then they're going to liven it up with some lime juice. What we have here, we call it mule mix with the disclaimer there's no mule parts whatsoever involved in this. It's this color because it's fresh juice citrus, fresh ground ginger root, the juice of ginger root in a rich simple syrup. So let's just call it citrus ginger simple syrup so nobody's offended. Two ounces of our modifier. We'll add that with the vodka into our copper mug. And now we need some ice. Now, our drink calls for crushed ice. We happen to have cubed ice, but I happen to have a couple of pieces to crush ice with. I have a canvas Lewis bag and a wooden mallet. Let me show you the process here. I will put cubed ice into the canvas Lewis bag. Let's move anything out of the way that might get uh, spilt. And I'm going to crush the ice in the bag on the bar with the aid of the wooden mallet. Everything about our spirits from the farm to the bottle is hands-on, labor-intensive. Even crushing the ice. But everything that we demonstrate is for sale upstairs in the gift shop. If you would like to crush ice the old-fashioned way, you too can get a canvas Lewis bag and a wooden mallet. If you do, I strongly urge you to get one of these, a rubber bar mat, so you don't ruin the finish on your countertops. Now, if you don't have really good countertops in your kitchen, I understand you probably don't want to do your ice this way. Unless you want new countertops in your kitchen. <laughs> All right. We've got vodka, we've got our lime and ginger, well, citrus and ginger simple syrup. Now I'm going to add in the crushed ice, or as we call it here in Northeast Florida, snow. Now, copper is a great translator of heat and cold. Heat, in the case of the stills out there, we can control the temperature as we start to cook the mash and, and extract the spirits from it as we start to volatize the alcohol and uh, refine it into that chain of proofs. Here in the bar, once we get our liquid ingredients combined inside the copper mug, the properties of copper are going to accentuate the cold and keep our drink really frosty cold. Our last ingredient is carbonated water. So that list is vodka, citrus ginger simple syrup, carbonated water on crushed ice in a copper meal. Folks, this is the Florida meal. I'm going to use a bar spoon, just give it a slight stir. You got carbonation in there, don't stir too much. You'll flatten your fizz. And then we're going to garnish it with mint. Now, mint is an aromatic, and the flavor of mint comes from oils that are in the cell walls of the leaf tissue. But I want to make this mint very, very, very minty. I want to open up the leaf, get the mint out. I'm going to dab it around the top of the cocktail to add a little uh, floral garnish to the top, and then I'm going to place the leaves in it. So I don't want to tear these leaves up. How minty would you say these leaves are? She's, it, it's a smiley minty. What I want is an eye popping going, holy cow, that's minty. So, remember those words? All right, so what I'm going to do is express the mint by putting it upon my hand and give it a couple of percussions like that. And, wow, holy cow, wow, holy cow it's minty. She got it right. All right, everybody give her a hand. Way to go. All right, what a great group. Now, I've dabbed it around. It's going to give a little scent to the nose as your lips are drinking the goodness. The leaves are on top looking pretty. Here is our Florida mule. Now, I happen to have some already poured as samples, so come on up, folks. Enjoy what we have right up here is a Florida meal. There you are, Anthony. You earned that. Come on up. Here they are. I can't throw them anymore. 